Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Allen. This is a connection with the shooting in Maloney this afternoon. I claim the life of Vinod Hamid. Am I right? Yeah. Um, I have his wife here. What is it? What is your name? Cheryl Mayus Hamid. Cheryl, tell me exactly what went on. Go ahead. The cousin come and bring some crab. We clean the crab and I didn't have the season and things. So I tell him uh -huh. I was going out to negotiate. I tell him I have two kids and I have two nephews and nieces. So I tell him that I was taking all of them with the big children and we would have passed by the park for five, ten minutes. And he said, no problem. While we proceeded now, we went to the grocery while coming through the park by the park. My phone rang. I, I wasn't even here, I don't know. My sister just called me and told me, Cheryl, they shoot Vinod. They shoot Where they shot him inside? Yeah, on a chair, so long. Okay, I'll go by the chair just now. Go they burn the chair, but I'll show you where it is. Uh -huh. She called and she said on the phone, I answer, I say hello. She said, Cheryl, it's Vinod. I say, where is Vinod? What are you talking about? She said, sure, let's shoot Vinod. I said, what do you mean? I just drop all the bags from the grocery every time and pick up my tree. I walk on my step and I run. And I run straight to him. And when I run straight to him, he was still sitting on the chair. But he wounds. And I come and I tell my father and I tell my brother, um, my brother-in-law, I said, help me, please. Somebody help me, daddy, please, Ali, help me pick up my husband. And then we came to the hospital, we could see if him, because he was breathing. Yeah, we took him up and we rushed him to the hospital. And that was it. They come outside and tell me, you know more. That was it. I wasn't even here, I didn't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what to do, how to take. I wasn't here, but I don't do ever leave. I don't leave here. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't stay home. I don't did, he ever, did he ever receive any threats or anything? Not to my knowledge. She does tell me every single thing. How long have you been together now? <laughs> We've been together for 22 years. You have children? Two daughters. How old are they? One is 15 and one is 3. I know you, right? Yes, you do. I met you already. <laughs> Three times. Three times. I picked any time he, any, any time, a place and I any take time, a picture with Any time he came with you? Is that any time he came with you? Yes, you meet me. Um, when um, we went by uh, liquor mart in, I think, Kulupi or somewhere there where they shoot this fella named... Um, but he had a liquor shop and thing. Um, I know. That is really I know. That's plenty years. Don't go, don't go there. Don't go there. Yeah, right. No way there. Right. We was going there to shop, and at the situation took place, me, you and me, I yeah. saw you, and we take yeah. a picture in front of the yeah. police. Uh -huh. But that was the only connection that we had there. We was going to the place to purchase, and um, enterprise. Yeah, By enterprise. Robocop. Yeah, we used to go to Big Mama. They used to sell by the bulks. And we used to sell a little thing many people go and buy by the cases. If you see when we had this little parlor here running from a time ago. This is a whole stuff, yeah. Yeah, so we used to go down there and then the situation had happened, but we went down on the same day and we saw you there. Sunday. Right. And but when I saw you there, all we do is miss you know, then yeah. can I have a pick? Maybe but that was that. it. Mm -hmm. And then it had another time somewhere in the Okay. It's okay, you can forget all that, but I want to know who who'd wanna shoot your husband. I don't know even I would like uh -huh. to know. Even I would like to know, he is <laughs> not that type of person. Everybody know him, he is a giving, caring, loving person. The only time you might hear, he don't even quarrel, he don't curse. Everybody could tell you about him, he don't even curse. He don't even quit fine if you're How quarreling. How old is he? 41. But what work he used to do? He worked Lavender Corporation. At a, as a I mean, sand pit or some, some pit? Yeah, he is a stores man up at Zed Mount Hope Hospital. He's a stores man. He was working his In the corporation. And he obligated. Lavender Corporation. Um, Lavender. Um, was it? Was it, was it? Sawa Corporation. Lavender Corporation. Yeah, Sawa Corporation. Ever since he has been working, in stores. he has a He's net. working stores. He never missed one day work. Not one yeah. day. Not one day. He loved his job. Yeah. Nobody cannot, right? Now he have to sit bone or something to get face to cliff and he never even claim anything. He never did claim anything, he just loved to go So to what work. are the facts concerning the shooting? Mr. Wasn't home, I'm being honest. Uh. I, I, when I come home, I didn't even... I don't even know the time them pronounce my husband dead. I don't even know the time I pick up my God, husband. Gunman, just come out of this car just so? 
Well, this is what I heard. I heard that somebody come from a car, and when they come, they went inside by him, and they hear shots, and now I said the person went back in the car. I don't even know nothing else, and I hear that when I'm not so long come home. When I, when I get a call and they tell me my husband, I don't have time to go and look at nothing else, investigate nothing, I take up my husband, I was in the hospital until just now. When, when you came and you picked him up, was he, um, he was still breathing and yes, and what he, he told was. you? Not he could. He just watching you. They shoot him through him out, and they shoot him one in his head. Oh God. He was watching me. Her shot. And he can. Oh. He can do. He can say baby nothing. He can talk. <laughs> it's real sad, man. I know this girl, man. I don't know that I will cook a video. And you know why I come up? I see margin. I will have to I get 10 or 15. What time it is right now? On m Monday morning, what time? <laughs> 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock, Monday morning. That's what is my buddy saying. 1 o'clock, Monday morning. Okay, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, restaurant. I come to meet this girl in, in Maloney. <laughs> you say, baby, I can't in a restaurant. We're going to rent a pool house and just me and the family, your mother and father, we're going to get away from everybody. Daddy in Covet going to come and I don't want to know. They say you are dead. My soul is 22 years. I love it with this man. It's 22 years. I gave him my life. I know what are you. He took an assessment. He was going to school. He was just old and higher. Yeah? I met him when I was 13 and we was boyfriend and girlfriend and we finished. We officially call it boyfriend and girlfriend who ran the day before 10, 16 years. Oh. So he's, he's, and since 13 he's years, all you know? <laughs> that's all. That's all Mr. Yon Allen. Married him and we and have this shop only open here? Yeah. I married him and I have two kids, babe. Uh. He would give you all he have. He teach me all he love and me to cook and feed the world. And the more you give us, the more you're going to get him for friggin' sweet. This was injustice done to him. And my huh. baby now tell me, uh, Mommy, where is my slippers? I say this, but let me put on my slippers before daddy corrupt me. You know daddy going to corrupt me. I'm going to put on your slippers. She, because you know, she's sick. She's a sickly child. And she suffered from paralysis, something from the age of one year, so which is cool. something rare in a billion years to babies. So, so she, he does hear a caution so with she. So, so she can walk? Yeah, she good. She come back real good. We took very good care of her. He and I and God. Somebody was telling me for something with some kind of... He don't play with she, Mr. Yon. Every day since she born, he brings home something for she. Every day she knows. But let's tell you off the record. You didn't tell me this. So let's tell you. Somebody says that it's something to do with a block or something, and, and somebody just want them out of here. That was it. I was here. How about you tell me that before I reach here? Truth be told, I'm not going to lie to you. My husband used to sell him a little time piece and I'm not going to lie to you. He used to sell him a little weed and thing. And it wasn't like no no block thing, like no big set of thing. It's little ten uh -huh. little thing, because plenty of people, when they make reports in police station, uh -huh. when they come, they get him with 28 gram, 30 gram. He was legible to hold that. So it's not like, it's not like he was a big juggler and have 50 cake and 100 block. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, otherwise mm -hmm. we wouldn't be yeah. living here. Yeah. We would have a mansion by now. Yeah. If my house wasn't finished. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand. Yes, he used to sell his little 10 piece and thing, but that is just normal basis. It's all over the place. You understand? But he wasn't like, no, you never, you, you, I assure you, this is the first time you heard about him, that he's done a big jug lord and he bringing in no cakes or weed and no boat or nothing. You never hear him call up in nothing before. Things that's happened so much, I can't even question God, but it's so much that we hear and just as even as only he was there, I take the chair and I go on the road, I don't like somebody real time, am I wrong, yeah? I don't leave my husband, boy. I don't know what to say, Mr. Ian. 
I just want just this in my eyes, but guys, oh my. And no one tell you anybody you go and right now ask about him will not tell you anything bad but about him. This man is a sour original corporation worker. He works in these stores, am I right? Yes. Opposite Mount Hope. And this is really, really sad. Yeah, this woman. She's I, I, she, she with somebody man 20 something years now. <laughs> Look, you're just Next month is my birthday, next month I'll be to this next. So you was planning a little birthday party for you? We was actually just going out, me and me alone, because we don't go anyway. Uh. And then we were supposed to go in a pool and and Lupino he watching on the phone that it have a little resort thing up on the Lupino pool and thing. Yeah. And he told me he would take me and the kids and invite my mother and father, but well, he know he mother ain't gonna come, but whoever wants to come could come, you know. And now I said, no, then things don't happen yet, my buddy is soon to come, but it's So this is the place that you all um build up here? This is the shop people love, but ah. besides this, there is my house people love. Ah. Sanilin Boulevard. Sanilin? Yeah. And you know, right here, my husband has no big job, no more than he ever bringing in nothing and nothing like that. He just used to sit a little ten piece and ten. Ten right here? He was sitting in the corner there. Uh huh. In the corner there. And as uh -huh. far as you understand, the person pull up here. Pull up right here. In front of you, they come through, they walk here. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Which part? Right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. They cover all the lights as well. All lights as well. Okay. Okay. So you were seated right here. Okay. You were seated right here. So they came through that gate right there. And they came right here. Right there. And they asked him for a 10 piece and they shoot him. They asked him for? A 10 piece and they shoot him. Okay. At least that's what I heard. Because when I come and meet him, he had a little small bag with the weed he was selling. Uh. And the scale was on. So whoever come asked him for a smoke or whatever. And he proceeded maybe to sell him and they shoot him. Okay. Thank you again.